Hi, Sal. We visited Dubrovnik in Croatia. Yes, I love Dubrovnik. Me too. What a great... We spent all of our time in the Old Town. Yeah. I well, think it's, it's pretty big. There. Yeah, we actually went out to Lokrum, the little island, too. Oh, right. But most of the time was spent in Old Town. And it's great. Oh, the hike up. So we take the bus from the airport and pretty much to the end, you know. I'm, I'm looking out the window trying to figure out where we're getting off and it stops and everybody off. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Right. It was pretty easy to figure out where you were. And then you walk through this big, big stone path into, you know, the castle. I mm -hmm. mean, it, uh, it's uh, just beautiful. And, mm -hmm. you know, we, it, the, our directions are, you know, go off to the right. So we go off to a right and then, um, and then we find some, we're trying to find streets. It was a little difficult to find the streets, and so uh, were well, there street names? There were. There, you know, they're more like walkways rather than streets. But mm -hmm. you know, we asked one of the shop owners, and um, he didn't know. But he went and talked to a couple of other owners, and he just points. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hiked up a uh, hundred steps to yeah. get to. The, it's kind of a. A valley, so you have steps right. going up to the. It, it was all the way at the end, and okay. uneven steps. So let's just describe <laughs> the. So Old Town Dubrovnik is like a circular walled city, with an opening that goes out to the sea, where the docks are. Right. Maybe like a U shape, let's say. So when you go into the city, into the Old Town part, it's a almost like a valley. Yeah. There's a real center. Promenade Plaza, light promenade, Boulevard, yeah, yeah. and there are streets that come off of that that go up on either side of it. Yes. It's quite steep. Yes, yeah. It was, uh, I mean, it must have been three or four hundred foot elevation gain mm -hmm. over these steps, and some of the steps are six inches, some <laughs> of them are 12, some of them are 18, and there's, I mean, yeah. and some of them are, you know, six inches wide or two feet wide. There, There is no uniformity to these steps anywhere in the city so it was uh it was good i so think good. i was immediately annoyed because i <laughs> had my rolly bag of course and my backpack on so yeah I, I don't, i'm not as mobile as you are with just your backpack yeah the backpacks are much easier in this but that being said we walk up this i mean and you're looking at this you know 40 60 foot wall of the castle and uh, our our Airbnb was right there. It was right beautiful. at the wall. Right. Mm -hmm. So we were able to walk down. Um, there's, uh, oh boy, what was the name? Is it Bubba Bar? Yeah. So where you actually walk through a, a door in the wall oh, out, yeah. and then so you're on the outside of the wall, and there's this nice bar, nice eight dollar beer. So yeah. we only yeah. went there once, but the views were amazing. It's really um, beautiful. But for Croatia, that's a pretty expensive beer. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, I guess Dubrovnik was a little spendy overall. Yes. That's they filmed Game of Thrones there. Yes. That's the first thing you <laughs> see. You get off the bus and those Game of Thrones tours. And uh, probably we were there three, four days. And you saw the tours walking around and explaining, oh, this is where, you know, Cersei walked down. And, uh -huh. <clears throat> you know, had fruit thrown at her or whatever, you know. Or, uh, I bet that would be a pretty fun thing to do if you're a Game of Thrones fan. Yes. You could definitely see it. I mean, we were walking down these huge steps down into this square where they had a farmer's market and the restaurants. And, oh, yeah, you totally see where they use this many times in Game of Thrones. So. It's fun to watch Game of Thrones and see and and see the scenery and go, oh man, I've been there and oh, I know that place. Right, the little it's really fun. The little bay. Mm -hmm. You remember, you know, Jamie bringing back one of the daughters, mm -hmm. and you see him in the boat, and she's on the dock, and like you're right there. Just, the magic of Hollywood, because right. it's it's still really beautiful, but it's not as expansive as they make it look. It looks, you know, somewhat. Bigger, it just yeah. looks bigger. I yes, yeah. I mean, it's <laughs> it's it's still we. Oh, the the castle wall walk. Mm, you have to really do that. Right. Yeah. You know, sadly, it opens at nine o'clock in the morning. So instead of like seven or six, we you know catch the you know new sun coming up or something. But still, you got to mm. do it and do it first thing. Um, by the time we were finished, it's a considerable walk. It's probably two miles around the the wall. 
Uh, yeah, it may be two miles, maybe less, but it was hot. Yes. It was hot and we, we were done. Yeah. We were done. Yeah. It's a lot of climb up here to take a look and then climb back down and climb up here and take a look in. Yeah, it was really, nice. it was really cool. And you're looking out over the, the red roofs of the city mm. and the, oh the church, that church dome and they had the ladder going up over the dome and I'm thinking, man, who wants to climb that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're a hundred feet off the ground and you're climbing over this dome on this uh, kind of janky looking ladder. So. I don't know. Dubrovnik was really fun, and I would definitely go back there. We we ended up we walked that whole town. Oh yeah. Easily several times because the old town is quite small. Yeah, and there were, surprisingly there's there was a restaurant in that little square that was very reasonable. You yeah, know, we had uh, breakfast or something. Yeah, it had several meals there. Um, it was uh, surprising because obviously there's very expensive restaurants too. There was some show going on. Mercedes had a couple of cars out uh, on display, and they were building a stage. So we missed that part. We were far enough away that that didn't. Uh, it was kind of a us. party atmosphere in the evening. Yeah. Which you know we're not big late night party people, so yeah. we skipped that. But we did go down to the docks, and we took a boat tour to that island. Yeah, Lokrum Lo Island. Yeah, the the boat. It's a fairly small boat, but you know it holds. 20, 30 people and you know you're going out and it's it's a little rough and then he he turns sideways and then the boats just you know, it's like, oh it was, my cow for a hundred yards getting across the channel was like it was it was a good ride you're hanging on you're hanging on it was a little yeah. scary there were a lot of peacocks on that island yeah that was kind of fun peacocks or rabbits there's a fort at the top point get you a nice look back the old dock mm -hmm. there yeah. was the what was it there there was a walled, it was a sanitarium at some point or something? I don't mm, remember. Yeah. Monastery was kind of the first thing you run across. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. So. It was fun. Yeah. I mean, the boat ride was scary enough without being super dangerous, I guess. Right, yeah. I mean, I know how to swim, thank goodness. Yeah. But they seem like they know what they're doing. They do that four or five minute drive probably yeah. ten times a day or more. Yeah. So that was that was good. It was the overall the experience of being there was really fantastic. Yes, I would definitely go back to Dubrovnik. We caught a bus out of Dubrovnik to get to the airport in another town. Do you uh, remember we had to we walked up to the top of the hill and we did there's lawn there's a laundry right. mat that was really close to where the bus station was. So on our way yeah. out of town. We checked out of our Airbnb and we went and did laundry yeah. near the bus stop. But the bus was supposed to leave at 2 to get us to the airport. And it did not leave at 2. It left at like a quarter to 2. And I was thinking, oh man, what are these people? <laughs> it wasn't and... quite. It was like 10 minutes early. Yeah, I, I, I showed up 10 minutes early and they loaded everyone in two or three minutes really fast and then just took off. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wow. Yeah, don't be late for the bus. Then. Don't be late. And there's... So we walked up to the laundromat and then we walked up to where the bus takes off and that's we bought our tickets right across the street from that right. pickup point. There's another thing going on there. What is it like a cable car? Oh right. Yeah, there's a cable car that takes you up to the mountain. Is I that think correct? So. Yeah. We didn't do that. No. But that's where you can get your bus ticket if you're planning to take the bus. Yeah. To the airport or somewhere else. Yeah. We you know, it's my only problem with Dubrovnik. I won't even call it a problem, but we wanted to go from Dubrovnik down into Greece, and that was across mm -hmm. Albania, and because of the bus schedules in Albania, it was like, uh, we ended up, it, fair, you know, it was a $500 plane ticket, so. Right, we flew into Germany, and then down to, over to Athens. Istanbul, wasn't it? Mm -mm. We flew to Munich, and from Munich we flew into Athens, because we couldn't go from really? Croatia wow. and I mean, it doesn't even look that far on the map. Right, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, so it, uh, if you have time, we were kind of just on a little bit of a schedule, which we don't normally set that much, but so we needed to get to Athens. And plus, Athens is, was just, you know, I've been waiting 25 years. <laughs> I'm not waiting another week. <laughs> right. So, I wanted to go to Athens. 
but winging it through Albania sounds like fun. You know, you don't really want to rent a car, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, buses go when they're full and not really on a schedule. So I would love to go back and mm -hmm. travel through Albania. Yeah. So if you are going to go to Dubrovnik and head south, give yourself some time to get through Albania. Right. So yeah, okay. Definitely go to Dubrovnik. I would go. Right. I would go back. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. I nice. want to go back and actually do what I just said. <laughs> go to Albania too. So. All right. Well, this is a good talk. Yeah. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Al.